Hello, hello, hello everyone. How are you doing? My name is Tyler VSNYC. This is Shady. And today we are talking about the three body problem. What is it? It's two things. The first, it is the title of a book and soon to be series on Netflix by Cixin Liu called The Three Body Problem. And when Cixin Liu started this series, he started with the concept of the three body problem. And that idea is the center of this book and what drives the entire book. And today we're gonna to be looking at what that theory is. You okay, Shady? You good to keep going? The first thing the three body problem is, it is something that is theoretical, something that we will never actually encounter. It is something that can only live in our minds. Something like absolute zero or traveling at light speed or opening a bag of potato chips and having only one hmm. Oh God, I've got shady hair all over me. Okay, enough fun and games, let's be serious. We live in a three body system right now. But it's not a problem. What do I mean? Well, we have three bodies, the sun, the moon, and the earth. And the reason it's not a problem is that these three bodies vary in size to a very large degree. The moon is the smallest and because of that, it orbits our earth and it will for a very, very long time. And similarly, the sun is incredibly larger than the earth and therefore our earth will obey the sun and gravitate around it for a very long time. How could this turn into a problem? It could turn into a problem if the size of all three of those bodies were exactly the same. If two bodies of the same size are in motion, they will stay in a mathematical pattern for a very long time. But if there are three bodies that are exactly the same size in motion, there will be a huge problem. And that problem is, in a chaotic three-body system, there are no patterns. In our three-body system, where there are patterns, you can answer a really easy question like, what is the weather going to be like tomorrow? The first major assumption in that question is, what is tomorrow? In our three-body system, Tomorrow is every 24 hours, our Earth rotates in a circle around the sun. But in a chaotic three-body system, the concept of tomorrow is completely unanswerable and unpredictable. Tomorrow could be 100 days from now. It could be 100 years. So even talking about it now, what is a day? What is a year? Everything in a three-body system is completely chaotic because those three bodies revolve around each other in a way that is impossible to predict forever. And why is a three body problem purely theoretical? The first reason is that just to get three bodies of the same size in the same place at the same time will just never happen. The variance of sizes of objects and the space of the universe makes this almost impossible. But even if it did happen, even if these three bodies defied the laws of chance and met and began rotating and having this ballet between these three bodies, there's no saying that they have to stay that way forever. Pretty soon, one of these bodies would get ejected, would get so close to another that the gravity and momentum would shoot it off into infinite space and these three bodies would never come into contact again. So that's it. That's the three body problem. Easy, right? That's what it is and why it will never happen. Thanks for watching. 
in the video's description, I've left a link to a visualization of a three-body problem and what it looks like. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We are talking about the three-body problem, going through the book and other topics surrounding the book. If you uh, enjoyed yourself, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. My name is Tyler VSNYC. Have a great day.